I'm Salvatore Babonis, and this week's social problem of the week is ultra-right-wing movements. Ultra-right-wing movements are on the rise all across Europe. These movements have flourished due to economic distress, rising immigration, and perhaps most important of all, a perceived crisis of representative politics. These movements are not likely to gain actual political power at the national level, but they do shift the turns of terms of national political debates in directions that uh, might be considered uh, unpalatable, and certainly undesirable. They're also dangerous in themselves for fomenting violence, intolerance, and extreme forms of social exclusion. Ultra-right-wing movements are political social movements that take the idea of the nation as imagined community to extreme lengths. They tend to define the nation in organic terms, using the metaphor of a living person or family tree. They embrace the idea that uh, the family is, or that the nation is like a person who has uh, persisted over thousands of years, and that the people who exist today as uh, the members of a nation are in some way uh, the people who carry on the heritage of those who have come before. Now, it hardly need be said that this is a huge myth for modern nations. Uh, in fact, all modern nations, uh, uh, including nations like Germany and uh, France, where ultra-right-wing movements are very, uh, very popular, all of these nations are amalgams of dozens of historical nations that have been uh, welded together into a combined nationhood. Yet this does not stop uh, ultra-right-wing nationalist movements from imagining that the entire nation is a single organic entity uh, from uh, from identifying themselves with the uh, imagined glories of past battles from hundreds and thousands of hundreds or thousands of years ago, ultra right wing movements advocate extreme forms of social exclusion, uh, legitimizing expropriation, murder, uh, expulsion of migrants, and in the extreme form of ultra-right-wing movements, uh, legitimizing genocide. The links between today's ultra-right-wing movements and historical Nazism are clear uh, and are even reflected in the use of neo-Nazi symbolism by ultra-right-wing movements. Ironically, not just those in Germany, but ultra-right-wing movements clear across Europe, including in countries that fought against Nazism, uh, like Russia and France. The German Pegida movement is probably the best known of today's ultra-right-wing movements in Europe, and it is emphatically anti-Muslim, uh, stoking hatred of European Muslims in a way that is reminiscent of the Nazis' anti-Semitism. Uh, here you see some uh, photos from Pegida rallies. Uh, you know, the idea that Germany uh, may have Sharia law imposed on it uh, simply because of the existence of Syrian refugees in Germany is of course an outlandish idea, but it's similar to uh, concerns that were stoked by the Nazis that there were secret Jewish plots to uh, control Germany in the 1920s and 1930s. Uh, in both cases there's a vilification of people of a different religion uh, who are seen as taking over society or uh, somehow secretly pulling the strings that control society. Uh, a common rhetorical device of the Pegida movement is to take out the trash. Now their symbol, as you see in the lower left here, is a trash can with various forms of ideology being thrown into it. And they've been very careful in that uh, symbolism to show Nazism being thrown in the trash at the same time that they show Islamic State being thrown into the trash. Uh, but in their language, uh, they use the language take out the trash repeatedly to refer to people in Germany of 
Turkish or Syrian or Middle Eastern origin, uh, calling the people themselves trash and, and referring to refugees as trash. This is this kind of anti-immigrant xenophobia is transparently racist, uh, but these political parties and political movements have attracted voters throughout Europe. And here I just repeat a, a list of successes of far ultra right wing political movements across European countries in recent elections. The ultra right wing movements are post political movements in some of the same ways that Occupy movements are, but they're also very different. Ultra right wing movements can be thought of as perverse expressions of the modern self rather than as expressions of the postmodern self. Uh, thus, the postmodern Occupy type movements tend to be peaceful but ineffectual. They're composed of postmodern individuals who are uh, interested in self-expression values. Uh, the ultra-right wing movements, by contrast, uh, tend to be very violent and potentially very effective. Uh, they are modern movements that uh, have actual political objectives, the desire to gain political power, and the desire to use political power to further their ends. Um, if the Occupy movements represent the very complex postmodern self, the ultra right wing movements are a response to that representing the very simplified uh, modern self. Thank you for listening to this brief lecture. You can find out more about me at salvatorbonus.com where you can also sign up for my monthly newsletter.